Hi everyone, Josh Orla doing well. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to create a Hess authored trade because a post can belongs to a user and a user has many posts. The reason why I want to create a trade is because if we want to expand on the website, on the block itself, add, like I said before, add additional things we can use the same trade for articles, Threads or whatever the case might be. All right, so let's quickly create our has author trade. So under AMP trades, we're just going to create a new file and we're going to call this one has author dot php. All right, and then we're going to have our namespace php space to our AMP trades like this. Okay, and then we're going to create a trade. And this is going to be the name of has author. All right, and let's create our methods in here. So public function, the first one, this will be the author relation. Okay, and this is going to be a belongs to relationship between the user. And it's just going to return this belongs to the user clause to I spell that correctly user clause and if we don't want to specify the column in our migration now in this case eloquent or assume or laravel it will be user id but i'm going to change that to be author id that's why i'm mentioning it here and this is going to go with a default the default will basically the name is going to be admin user okay you can actually put in someone's name right there that needs to be a comma yes. right so if you put summon this let's just make it john doe as an example okay so let's create another public method in here so public function this one is going to be our author it's going to be the user clause and we're just going to return this author relation like that All right now the thing is what i want to do is um, I want to check if a post, because we're going to create a policy either in the next one or the one after that, where we're going to create a post policy to check if the post belongs to a user or not. So let's quickly do this, and we're going to do is authored by. Okay, so we pass in the user, okay, and this is going basically going to return a boolean. Right. Well, let me just go back there to the user. Now, what we're going to do is we want to check. So, basically, return. Okay, this. Okay. When we would pass in the author, the method that we created, we want to check if that matches our current user. All right. Just remember the matches method right here that we're referencing is the model helper that we created that will just check if that user matches basically that that model matches that user. Okay. So and this will either return a true or false statement. All right. The next one that I want to do is I want to associate basically a post to an author. All right. So let's quickly do that. So this one is going to be authored by okay then we put in the user and we're just going to bring in the author okay do this okay then this author relation the one that we just created okay we're going to associate this author Spelling. Right, and then this unset relation 
author okay so we got that all done so we create four methods we got our author we've got our author relationship we want to check if the post is written or authored by that user so that will turn a boolean true or false because you will see this will be handy when we're going to create our policies for our post and the same for this as well okay so with the same these methods so that's why we're going to create a train because we otherwise we have to let's say we add an article we have to create this all over again for that same thing so in coding keep things dry meaning don't repeat yourself all right so let's add this author basically inside our post model all right so what we're going to do we're going to bring in that use in our post model we're going to bring in that has author as you can see we have it right there we bring in that has author and just make sure you import it at the top all right, so we got our trade in there so it means all the methods of our trade is now basically available for our post all right now since we added that author id i'm just going to add that field in here as well so just at the bottom author id okay so we're going to eager load that relationship that author relationship so when basically like if we have the post with users okay so that's basically what's going to happen but it's not we don't even need to specify this because this is basically what it will do automatically when we do this okay all right so now we've got our post model all set up now the opposite we need to do as well because remember we only have the one side of the relationship that we have finished now but we need to actually do the opposite right because a post belongs to a user we need to set the inverse relationship basically up inside our post user model so let's quickly create it so public function post okay and that's basically just going to return this dot post like this all right so let's quickly create our post relation or public function this needs to be a plural because uh, because a user can have many posts okay so let's quickly public function and this is going to be a post relation okay and this is going to be a has many All right a post belongs to a user and the user has many posts okay so then we're just going to return this as many okay and then we're just going to add the post class and then we add in the author id like that all right so now we're all set up once right, so another inverse relationship is set up between our post and our users now the next thing that we need to do is we need to set up our migrations file so let's go to our post migrations this one right here so let's open it up okay so the only thing that we need to add in here because we need to reference that foreign key so let's just do that so the table and we're going to add a foreign id right this is going to be the author id right this author id i'm referencing let's go to this has author trade i'm referencing it right here so this id needs to be the same as this id right there okay now i'm going to make this field nullable so i want to say like oh you're mad but just bear with me okay so then we're going to constrain that basically to the users table now on delete oh, i don't want to cascade okay so i don't want to do this cascade i don't want to do that all right now the reason for this let me just give me some room here now the reason for this if we added cascade right here now the user is basically the parent 
and the post right here is basically the child. So whenever we want to, because what this cascade will do is when we delete the parent, which is the user, it will delete all children associated with this user. All right. Meaning this parent right there. But I don't want that to happen. Now, let's say we could, this four authors that we have on our website, let's say you paid them for to write certain articles or posts. Now, if they leave your website, all right, you delete them from the database. You don't actually want to remove their posts. But someone will say, no, in this case, I'll use soft deletes. But let's say we hard delete the user. All right. I don't want to delete all the posts associated with that user. Okay. I want the post to remain, but the user can be deleted. So what do I do in this case? I will just set that field to null, like this. Okay. So when we delete this parent, we're just going to set that author ID field to null. That's why we made the field here nullable. All right. So that's it for me, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And I'll see you next time. Adios.